Okay, so I got my uh, splatter set up here, my inductor saturation uh, tester set up, um, which is basically a bulk capacitor that tries to surge a bunch of current um, through the inductor and then monitors it on. Um, basically, I got 20 um, 10 ohm resistors here. I got sur or not surface, but through hole right there. Then on the back side, I'm trying to be careful here, I got. Um, or surface mount ones but this is basically the wiring and uh, I got it set up and these are actually repurposed I got them out of I can't remember what um, this is a um, iron core I guess and it has a permeability of 13,000 or something like that and I'm going to be demonstrating how uh, it saturates really easy but you can achieve um, really high Henry's on it with just a few loops. And I actually have my oscilloscope hooked up, which is right there. It's a USB one. I got it set up right here. This is for the trigger. I got my uh, voltage and current meter set up. I got a boost um, converter right here. And I got 12 volts going into it from an AC adapter right down there. I got my uh, laptop set up right here. We're going to set up the trigger on second channel, uh, 20 volts, I want that to be down there. Let's see if we can actually get in here close enough so you guys can actually see what's going on. Alright, um, I'm going to run that real quick. Oh, it's waiting for the trigger, turn that off. I want to make sure that I'm actually, yep, alright. On single, waiting for trigger. I'm going to trigger it. There's our trigger. Should be. There we go. Now, if you notice, uh, right on here, you can see it. Right over here, we got the trigger. It goes down. If you look, almost no currents running through it. And then all of a sudden, right here, bam, currents running through it. All right. And this is this is where it actually saturated way down here, and that's because this actually has really high Henry's because of how high the permeability is. But it's actually saturating very very low. So we're going to take this off at 10 volts, and we're going to bring it down to like one volt. We're going to set it up and run it again. If you look right here, look at how slow it, it actually barely is barely moving because it doesn't like change in the current but all of a sudden the core saturated and it becomes an air core so look it goes up really fast we actually have the knee right about there so that gives you an idea of it's saturating So the uh, transistor just exploded. Right there, you can actually see parts of it kind of blown up. I don't know if I can, and it smells so bad. Kind of wish, uh, hold on, let's see if I can get something to hold this up here. Yeah, you can actually see it kind of blown up right there. It almost took off my finger. I pushed the button and it just blew up in there's chunks right here. It was very, very, very loud. Um, little pieces of it hit my finger. It's fine. Look like that. It's a little bit red, but I think all my fingers are red a little bit, so they're fine. First, I thought it was a capacitor that just blew up. So apparently, uh, my transistor did something really weird. And as soon as uh give it just a little bit of a, uh, I got a voltage going into it right now. It's not hooked up, so. But as soon as I push this, apparently it got damaged or something, and it just blew up, and you can actually see the darkness right here in this whole area. 
from it just being all burnt and stuff like that. And let me see if I can actually take this off. And it wasn't even hot, it, which is odd. I never had a transistor explode. It wasn't hot. Let's see if I can actually get a better shot. Yeah, look at that. And it just blew all right up. So I guess I'm going to pull that out and put a new one in it. Um, I'm assuming, even though I got a, a protective, let me put this back on autofocus here. I got a protective, uh, um, um, why can't I think of what the heck that thing's called? Um, diode. That's supposed to protect it from surges and spikes, but I think because I would actually, if you look at the amount of current that was actually running through this, Because that's, that's 1 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt, 4 volt, 5 volt, 6 volt. And I have no idea how high it went. But I got a feeling a ton of current. Because it's it switches to an air coil. If you look, there's very few coils on here. So the amount of current that would pass through this would be insane. Because I'm basically creating a short through this coil. And it's going to be pretty much an air coil. Because it's instantaneously going to saturate this thing. And it's only got these resistors right here to stop the current, which is a 0.5 ohm. So it could have been doing, you know, 100 amps or something like that. And it just killed my uh, transistor. So might want to stay away from doing stuff like uh, 30 volts um, on very small uh, um, millihenry or whatever. Uh, coils because that, that didn't go too well still a little bit shaken up over it actually because it was crazy loud i mean it just blew up and you can see the burnt on there I mean, look at that it didn't just like pop a little bit or smoke it it was like a firecracker going right off next to my finger and i'm just like oh i'm so glad i'm okay 